All right, Oval fans, uh, yeah, I got a bunch of discussion videos to get done before the next episode slash, you know, episode two. Um, yeah, so in this video, we're going to be talking about one of the most talked about scenes in the initial trailers for the Oval itself. And that is the epic turn and walk away from an explosion moment where I believe like it's in the middle of like the country road or the woods, basically on uncharted territory. It looks like a secret agent is walking away while a car explodes in the background. And every time I think of the classic turn and walk away, I'm instantly thinking about, you know, the first Iron Man film where, um, Tony shoots like a tank missile and then the tank explodes, you know, as he walks away into the late effects. So, uh, whose car is it? I think it is honestly a bit too early. It's only been one episode, but already it seems like there might be some characters who are maybe one or done or on the, uh, you know, fable shopping block, but a couple of characters who I think might be in said car that explode. Also, keep in mind, we don't know if this car has anybody inside of it. We don't know if this car is kind of like the black sedan on the haves and the have nots, you know, AKA uh, Jeffrey's car that Wyatt took that was involved in the hit and run of Lizzie Castile. I believe that was the last name. If that was the last name, kudos to me because I cannot remember the last time we even heard that name on the show and Benny Young. So we don't know if the car itself is empty and needed to be destroyed to destroy evidence or if there's anyone in said car. So for the sake of simplicity slash theory, and honestly, if you've been on this channel long enough, when in the world have my theories been anything, you know, close to simple? But I guess for this video, let's imagine that in this scenario, there is someone in the car that is being destroyed. Who could be in there? Um, I think the chopping block list is Leon, the drug dealer slash boyfriend of Gail, who Victoria said will never be accepted into the family. Uh, we do see Gail getting it on with someone in the promotional trailer, so we can assume this is Leon. So one could argue that this um, character could be caught by, you know, either Victoria or one of the secret service agents you know rats them out and then they decide to take matters into their own hands via victoria i could see victoria being the person to initiate this get rid of them i could see leon being the person in the car um also we get to denise slash the president's first or excuse me the president's plus one who in that trailer well actually that clip we only saw on the was it the jimmy kimball show where we see um you know hunter and denise in the oval literally in the oval and he has a secret service agent blocking the door and uh victoria can't get in so then we later see that in the pre uh, preview you know she's dressed up and she has a sledgehammer so one could assume that she's going to you know use it to knock the door down if necessary if it gets blocked again and it could be that victoria wants to get rid of the plus one so denise slash roof her twin sister might be the one who's, you know, axed off. Another possible character, and this is a maybe, we know that Donald is the chief of staff, and then in the next episode, Bobby, the man that Lily got it on with in the bathroom at the airport, is going to be in their home for undisclosed reasons. So what if Donald comes home and, uh, you know, what if, you know, Lily took out Bobby or Donald decides to take out Bobby and it's like, okay, we got to clean this dude up. So he's the one that's abandoned and left in the burning car. I don't know. That could be a possibility. Um, I don't think it's any of the cult leaders or anything. That's a bit too much. I think that's a bit too soon. I don't think that's the scenario, but, uh, looking over my notes here, I think those are the suspects. Leon, the drug dealer slash boyfriend of Gail, who's unwanted in the family by Gail's folks. Uh, Bobby, Lily's dirty little secret. Seriously, look, I, no, you know what? I already did like a 13 minute Lily video. I don't want to talk about it here. So Bobby got him, uh, possibly Denise, AKA the president's plus one. I could see Victoria definitely being the person that wants to clean things up. So I guess you could say in a way, uh, the Malones of this season are, the secret service you know like because the president is like jim crier and those are his you know hired muscle if you will to protect the family and also clean up messes when necessary so one could argue that uh you know 
The person in that car was definitely taken to the cleaners. Da -da -da. Yeah, I know that was a bad pun. But in any case, uh, with that being said, I know, like I said before at the beginning of the video, it is a bit too early to make big theories like this, but it was one of the scenes from the trailers that people wanted me to talk about. And I think I even said in my trailer breakdown, Ooh, I don't really know these characters yet. I don't know who's in the car, but maybe we will. Uh, you could also make the argument, what if it's Barry? You know, he assaulted the president and first lady's daughter, so they need to take him out. Nope, nope, I don't think that's the case. Especially because in the preview for next week, we see Barry and his father, Robert, I believe, Richard, 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 Richard. Um, we see them outside of the White House, so they're probably at home, and Richard's like forewarning his son about how powerful these people are. So, with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, trying to hit 94,000 subscribers before the end of the month. I think we can do it. And I did say we would do a giveaway at 95, but if we hit 94 by the end of the month, I'll definitely do another DVD giveaway. So, thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next video.